Josh, good morning. Good morning to you, my friends. It's hard to imagine that it's been five years since the floods of 2008, destroying many properties here in Cedar Rapids. Many of them public entities are one that were used by lots and lots of people. So at 10.15 this morning here on Mays Island, the city of Cedar Rapids is holding a moment of silence and ceremony to help remember those days and remark on how far we've come. This morning I'm here with Mayor Ron Corbett from uh, right here in Cedar Rapids. Now, now Mayor, when, when you talk about all the different changes that the city has seen since 2008, it seems like we've come a, a very long way. Where would you say you see the city moving forward now after five years? Well, I think we, we've come through the flood uh, better and stronger and smarter as we, we go forward. I think smarter in a way on how we dealt with uh, the major flood just two weeks ago when the river was going to crest well over 19 feet. What we learned from 2008, we put into practice in 2013. You don't have to look far in Cedar Rapids to see a lot of changes. Uh, the new U.S. Cellular Center, the library is uh, coming along real well here downtown. What sort of future construction projects do you think we'll see? And do you think that with uh, the recent floods we've had, there's a renewed sense that we need some sort of flood mitigation program in terms of walls or barriers or something? Well, certainly we do need to continue to push for long-term flood protection, comprehensive flood protection on both sides uh, of the river, the east uh, and the west side. So that's going to be a, a long-term big infrastructure project for our community. You know, similar to Building 380 when it was built, we're building the, the, live, uh, the, the airport. It just uh, takes some time. What we're really seeing now is the amount of private sector investment. Initially, we saw a lot of public sector investment as it relates to the library or the amphitheater, the Paramount Theater, our city hall, other office buildings and stuff that the city uses. But now we're really seeing private sector coming forward and making their investments. So it's been a, a, a dual uh, surge of, of resources between the public and the private sectors. Well, Mr. Mayor, I want to thank you very much for joining us here this morning. Good luck with everything, uh, the ceremony at 1015. And if you would like to come see Mayor Corbett, take some time to reflect on the floods of 2008 and see for yourself just how far this city has come with city and community leaders. Again, it's taking place at 1015 right here over on Mays Island. We're covering the quarter in Cedar Rapids. Josh Scheinblum, CBS 2 News. All right, thank you.